Hello, welcome to a tutorial from Live Designing. This is on fixing missing links in InDesign. Uh, I'm going to open a uh, document that has missing links. And we see immediately we get an error message that there are links missing. Click OK on the error message. And the document goes ahead and opens. Uh, sometimes when you open an InDesign document or export it or run preflight, by the way, this is the pre-flight, live pre-flight icon down here, which shows uh, six errors. When you you get a message that links are missing or need to be updated, variety of possible causes to this. Usually, you place images in InDesign, as was done with each of these six images. This means that a pointer uh, in a low-resolution thumbnail are actually in the InDesign document and the full image file is on uh, a hard drive or network or something and the pointer supposes points to the location of the actual file keeps the InDesign file smaller the computer is able to work with, with InDesign documents faster however if the linked file is moved or modified or in some way becomes unavailable the pointer in the InDesign document will no longer point to it correctly and InDesign generates an error or a warning. If you place images into InDesign documents from a removable disk and then take the disk away, then obviously the linked file is going to be missing. If the path to the file on your computer or your network is changed, then the pointer in the InDesign document will no longer reference the place file and will generate an error. And if the image file is edited and saved in another program, such as Photoshop or whatever, um, then the time and date stamp on the image file is changed, and InDesign generates a warning that the file is out of date and needs to be updated. In this case, I put, I put these image files into a folder on my hard drive, and then later I renamed the folder after I had put them into this InDesign document. So mm -hmm. now the InDesign, InDesign no longer sees the files at the end of the path that it has. To fix errors regarding links, you go to the links panel. It may be available over here. If not, it's under window links. And you'll see this panel, which you can adjust the size of, by the way and you can show more information about a selected file. Uh, you can scroll up and down to see all of the uh, images. Go to link causes InDesign to highlight the linked file. So if you have a multi-page document and you're not sure where the linked images are that are reporting errors, then you can use this go to a feature, right click and go to or pull down the menu and go to link. You can also edit images with other programs such as Photoshop and Illustrator and so on. Whatever program is appropriate for editing a particular um, linked file. And there's a bunch of other things you can look at in the menus. You should always look at the menus and all of the links and all of the panels on InDesign. This is the um, links panel. So the um, we're going to select one of the files and choose relink and locate the directory where we saved it. I happen to know where it is. And it's in here and it's fish PSD so we choose fish PSD and click open and it gives us a little warning message which we're going to just click OK on in this case now in this case all of my images were in the same folder so InDesign automatically corrected all of the links 
if some of them had been in a variety of folders, then I would have had to uh, select one from each of the folders. You may note that this image also changed. If we edit undo, I had gone into Photoshop and uh, changed this image. That's why it's darker when it's relinked. So we go here back to here and relink and open. click OK on the warning and it tells us that it relinked all the files and now we see that that updated image has now now has it has the correct appearance and having fixed your broken links go to file and save your document and that's it and we're done for today so thank you for coming